less than seven major key signatures. So what is a key signature? A key signature tells you what key the music is in and which notes receive sharps or flats. It's denoted in the left-hand side next to the clef. So here, this would be our key signature. And I can just tell you what these are. That would be F sharp. And the second one would be C sharp. So what does this mean? That means in that this specific key, if you see an F, for example, this is an F, you wouldn't play or sing F. You would actually play or sing F sharp because that's what's in the key signature. Similarly, if we had a C, then you would need to play C sharp instead of just a C. So there's something called the order of sharps, which help us determine what um, major key we're in. So the order of sharp starts with F, C, G, D, A, B, and B. It's not And an acronym that helps us remember this is Fat Cats Go Down Alleys Eating Bologna. And it's just to help you remember the order. And similarly, we can write it in the bass clef as well, as we remember from our previous videos. So first, we have our first example. So here, we have three sharks. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So your first step is to name the sharps. So we have done that here. Then you identify the last sharp. So in this case, it would be the G sharp. So we identify the G sharp. Next, we find the note that's one half step above the G sharp. So if we remember from our previous videos, a half step is basically the note that's right next to the note we have. So if we have a half step above from G sharp, that would be an A. So it's an A major. Now we can have another example. Let's say I'm in the treble clef and I have four sharps. Notice I have to write the sharps in the order of sharps that we used before. So we'd start off with the F, C, G, and D. Fat cats go down, all right? So what key would I be in? So the first step is to identify what sharps we have. So we have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Now our second step is to identify the last sharp. So for us, it would be D sharp. Our next step is to go a half step above D sharp. So a half step above D sharp would be E. So we're in E major. So to review, We need to know that, we need to know the order of sharps. As well as the four step process. To identify which major key we're in given certain sharps. Now, as you keep practicing some examples of this, 
You'll soon realize um, a little trick to uh, getting the major quickly than before, but the best way to do it is the four-step process, and that's all it is for this video.